Matt Bayless here with your MerchantDoctor.net processing point. Welcome back. Today we're going to discuss mobile or e-wallets. Now the mobile wallet revolution is an incredible spin-off from NFC technology. And here at the Merchant Doctor we've already discussed at length how NFC or EMV technology is the next most logical step to secure our payment systems here in the US. But one of the most exciting results of this technology is the development of the mobile wallet. Now the mobile wallet is going to be an incredible tool for business owners and consumers alike. And a lot of major players have jumped in the pool and started developing their own. Some of the more notable players are Google, who released their Google Mobile Wallet earlier this year. Unfortunately, they did stumble on some security issues, but they are fixing those and look to be a major player in the future. Another notable player is PayPal, who revamped their old existing uh, mobile wallet and have actually gone out and scored clients like the Home Depot. So no doubt they will be a major player in this space. However, one of the most exciting and most talked about mobile wallets that is due to get released later this summer is the Isis e-wallet. Now, Isis is a collaborative effort from three of the major uh, cell phone service providers being AT&T, T-Mobile, and Verizon. And they have collaborated to create an e-wallet that can be offered through their phones. And this wallet appears to be the one that has the best chance at gaining mass acceptance with not only consumers, but with merchants alike. So let's talk about why I say that. Now most of the mobile wallets that are being developed currently are being done on what's called a closed API platform. And what that means to you on a business, as a business owner is actually threefold. Now first off, if you choose to integrate this type of mobile wallet as your preferred payment method, you could actually be ostracizing consumers who choose not to download that particular version of wallet. Now, secondly, from a consumer perspective, they love using the wallet at your place of business because you get great offers, they have uh, kind of a membership feel with your business, but when they go next door to purchase something, they still have to carry around their plastic credit card because that merchant might not choose to accept that particular version of mobile wallet. And thirdly, with a lot of these wallets, you're going to be stuck with their payment processor, which means you could be stuck with unusually high credit card acceptance fees. Now, what Isis has done different is they have created their wallet, and not only with very, uh, a lot of really rich features for you as a business owner from a marketing and customer loyalty perspective, but they've done so on an open API platform. And what that means is that app developers from industries all across the board can create apps very specific to either the industry or to merchants individually and integrate those apps directly with the mobile wallet. And that includes the card issuing banks and other facets of consumers' lives. Now, with the full backing of AT&T, Verizon, and uh, T-Mobile, of course this is going to be preloaded on all the new phones that are out there and right in front of consumers. Now, from a business perspective, you're going to have uh, the ability to customize customer loyalty and marketing programs, either via GPS location notifications, uh, push notifications, texting, emails, etc. And from a consumer perspective, the rich interface they're going to have, not only with your business, but with their card issuing banks, is going to create a mass acceptance appeal, not only on behalf of the business owners, but on behalf of consumers as well. And that is why we here at The Merchant Doctor think that the ISIS mobile wallet is not only very exciting, but it has one of the best chances at gaining mass acceptance across the board by business owners and consumers. This has been Rhett Bayless with your MerchantDoctor.net processing point. We look forward to seeing you next time. In the meantime, jump on over to Facebook, Twitter, Google+, or LinkedIn, and check out The Merchant Doctor. Make sure you leave your comments, questions, or rants and raves below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible.